Alright, let's take a look at the last couple steps of creating an Animoto video. Next thing I'm going to do is add text. Um, in this case, I've selected this picture. I can then click Add Text and simply add a header and a text. Okay, so this will show up at the top prominently. This will show up at the bottom. Uh, just to give you an idea what that looks like. Now, let's say I decided I did not want this. I can't necessarily just delete it, but what I can do is click and drag out to the bottom. Okay, so let's say I just wanted this just to say, have that show up afterwards. All right. So I can continue to add text as much as I wanted throughout my video. And the next thing I'm going to do is change the name. Call this. Notice all I did to change the name was click on the edit button right there. And the last thing I'm going to do is produce a video. And that's as simple as clicking produce video. Okay, this is another thing to keep in mind about Animoto is that it does take a while for the uh, video to be produced. I'm going to have cut it down in this tutorial, but just bear in mind that it'll take some time for it to, to get produced. As a matter of fact, in the session today, it might not be able to finish all the way, but go ahead and give it a shot, see what it looks like, and if not, you can save it and take a look at it when you get home. Uh, try to produce it at that time. Okay, now you can watch the video. Okay, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. I do want to point out um, that you can share this on Facebook. Um, you can take this URL and copy and paste it um, into other places. Uh, there's even a whole sharing feature right here where you can copy the link in an embed code, um, export the video, uh, and there's some other options too. You can even put it up on Pinterest. So Animo is also very social as well, which is another good advantage of it. And this has been how to create an Animoto video.